you know what? I'm kind of annoyed because I really don't like Apple TV. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like how the platform works. But then they had to go and adapt Foundation to TV. And then, of course, of course, I'm going to want to watch Foundation. I mean, it's classic Isaac Asimov sci-fi. And then the tipsy trope comes along and says, hey, I want to see you do a video on Foundation. So you know what? This video was all Apple TV's fault and the tipsy trope's fault. They're it's all their fault. I'll link to Tipsy Trope below. Great channel, by the way. But still, it's all the Tipsy Trope's fault that I'm doing this video. And, of course, Apple TV's fault for adapting Foundation in the first place. But anyway, I'll be right back and we'll chat about Foundation. Right, so let's talk Foundation. Foundation is a book series by Isaac Asimov, recently adapted to become a TV series on Apple TV. Now, originally, I wasn't going to subscribe to Apple TV because I just didn't like their platform and how it works. The only app that seems to have any reasonable functionality is on my smart TV and I can't get it from my other devices because I don't have Apple products. So, I really don't like Apple TV because of that. So, I wasn't going to do it. But then, of course, Apple TV has Foundation. They've adapted the TV series. And then... The tipsy trope comes along and tells me he wants to see me do a video on Foundation TV series. So here we are. <laughs> it's all Apple TV's fault and tipsy trope's fault, as I said in the introduction. Anyway, let's get on to discuss Foundation TV show. Now, first off, just want to say, if you like this content, if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification, because I'll probably have more Foundation stuff coming up as well. And of course, always comment, like, subscribe. You can join me over on the Discord. We can chat about the TV show. I've got a channel set up for that. So as far as this TV series goes, I do have the book series for Isaac Asimov's Foundation. I first read this book series easily 25 plus years ago. I don't even remember if it was junior high or high school, but it was a long, long time ago. I haven't reread it yet. I plan on rereading it. It's on my TBR. Hopefully get to sometime next year. So this video is not going to be a comparison between the books and the TV show. It's just going to be my impressions of the TV show so far with foundation on Apple TV uh, so keep that in mind and I honestly don't remember a whole lot about the books and how they played out in the exact storyline but I do remember the basic concept so there's this galactic empire that has been prophesied through the science of psychohistory which was developed by Harry Seldon our main character to eventually come to complete collapse and utter destruction and without building a foundation, a storehouse of knowledge from past dispensation, these dark ages will last tens of thousands of years and without having the foundation set up to secure all the knowledge of mankind within this foundation, there is no hope of coming out of the dark ages anytime soon. So that is the whole concept of this. And of course, the Empire is not happy to hear this. They don't believe that, that their galactic empire that has lasted tens of thousands of years can possibly collapse into utter ruin. Harry Seldon is basically treated like a terrorist. And he's sought by the Empire in order to shut him and his followers down as they are seen as a threat to the Empire. So that's the basic concept behind the whole Foundation series. And I do remember reading this and I remember absolutely loving it. And then I heard Apple TV was adapting it. So let's talk about the TV show. Now, because it's been so long since I've actually read the books, you know, it's hard to really say where the TV show differs from the actual books. I, I have no doubt that it does. In fact, it does in a few ways that I'll recognize. For example, I've got one character that's gender swapped in the books, it's a man, and the or in the books it's a man and the TV show it's a woman. So that's gender gender swapped there. So I mean that's definitely one difference that I absolutely see there. Uh, but you know. Overall, I am really liking the TV show. I love the opening sequence to the TV show. I really love the look and appeal of that. In fact, this whole show has got a really great look to it. To be honest, it kind of reminds me of Star Wars in a way with regard to the look. I mean, we look at Trantor, for example. Trantor looks very much like, like Coruscant from Star Wars. In both cases, they're the home galactic empire home world. But this, the plan itself really kind of has that Trantor or trying to report something they kind of look the same like for this galactic super city that we see within this within this home world which i thought was just well i mean i like the look to it um you know and it's definitely not a criticism to have that look and appearance like star wars that's not a criticism at all and i would certainly never go so far as to say that it is i, I re really do like the appeal and the look of this 
this city planet. Some of the other planets that I thought had a really, really cool look is Synax, the ring system essentially. It's got this ring around the planet. You're looking up on top from the ocean, some of the settings and scenes there, kind of see the ring in the sky. And I just thought that was really, really cool look and appeal to uh, this, this world uh, that we have as part of it. And of course, this is a galactic empire, so there's tons and tons and tons of worlds out there. Hundreds of thousands of worlds, people, trillions of people throughout the galactic empire. One thing I really liked it as well is the look of the spaceships that we have in here. They kind of have like this black hole drive kind of thing in the middle and it just has that really cool look with the black hole drive which I think is actually a really cool idea. I mean black holes we know contain a lot of energy and if you somehow you know harvest that, awesome. But the kind of look and appeal of that I thought was really cool. Now one of the aspects that I really really liked about this show is how the Empire is represented within this show. So the Empire, of course, it's a genetic dynasty. They're all clones. But what we have with the Empire is there's th three individuals. They're all clones of the same person. But we have the child, we have the adult, we have the old man. Because this series deals with, you know, the past, the present, the future, and all that kind of stuff, I love the way this is represented. The child kind of represents the past with the man representing the present and the old man representing the future. So as the future deteriorates, so is the old man. I love the way that's represented within this show. I think that was done really well. Now this wasn't actually how it was represented in the books from what I remember. So that is another one of the differences there. But I really like how they put that into the show. Uh, I, again, this is just based off me coming in as if I didn't even know it was a book that's been so long. But I really like what, what they did with that. And I thought that was a really cool way to represent the Empire, the past of the Empire when it was young and naive didn't know all that much. We got the modern day empire, which has been around for a while. And then we got the old man, the future of the empire, as uh, the old man starts to go crazy and that kind of thing. So I really liked how that was done within this show. You know, and as far as my overall impressions of the show go, I mean, I have to say so far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm liking this. I love the, you know, I love science fiction and I, I love how this show is being presented. And so far, even if it's not following the books exactly or perfectly, or as some have said, is not following the spirit of the books again, I'm not sure how to judge that point simply because it has been so long since I've read the books. But overall, I have to say I'm really liking it, and the basic concepts of the Foundation story are there at the very least. You know, the idea of the prophesied end of the Empire and needing to build a foundation on which we could rebuild civilization after the collapse and fall of the Empire goes. Uh, so definitely this show is being set up to be like a high action space war type of scenario. And I definitely see that happening in the setup of this show. And I'm definitely going to continue to watch this show because I am enjoying it. I am liking Foundation so far. And I think overall, it's a good, good show. I mean, if you come into this never reading Foundation, and you like science fiction, you'll probably like it, especially if you like that big space opera type thing. Space opera type of a setting, as they call it, and this big, long galactic empire type of story. This is something that I think you're going to enjoy if you like that type of story and that type of science fiction. Now, if you have read the books and you're looking for something that holds true to every aspect of the book, first of all, why are you watching an adaptation? That's never going to happen at least with no adaptations that I've seen so far as if perfectly aligned with the source material. Hey, if you're looking for a entertaining science fiction show that's enjoyable and just has a fantastic look to it some, and a good story, so far I would say I think this is good. I mean, it's not all perfect by any means. One character meets their end and I won't say who, how, or why. Uh, within the first two episodes, I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to spoil too much if you haven't watched already. But I really didn't like how that played out, to be completely honest. Um, this is a character who I knew did not live through the entire series, but I felt it was too soon. And again, I'll just kind of leave it at that. Uh, mild, mild spoilers there. Um, and how it was set up for that to happen, I didn't think worked all that well, to be completely honest. Uh, it just kind of seemed to happened too quickly and like they threw some conflict in there just to give a reason for it to happen which to me just seems well not well done to be honest I didn't like how that happened um, but you know overall I'd say that the show is good enjoyable show and I'm definitely going to continue to watch it and I'm really enjoying foundation overall if I were to give it a star rating I'd give it six and a half seven stars out of ten easily uh, and overall just 
Foundation really is working out, I think, to be a decent TV series. Uh, you know, I, I'll stop there. I won't comment. As, I don't want to say whether I think it's a good adaptation because, again, I think I need to re-familiarize myself with the books before I can say how I feel about it as an adaptation. But if I look at it from strictly just being a new TV series, I would say it's pretty decent. And while it is definitely based off the Foundation book series, you know, maybe when I go back and reread the books, I'll come back and do a more intricate analysis of how it compares to the books. But for now, these are my first impressions of the TV show. I'm enjoying it, I'm liking it, and I'm definitely going to continue to watch it. So those are my thoughts on Foundation. Uh, you know, I'll probably have some more Foundation stuff come out on the channel later on as we move towards the end of the first season, or even partway through the first season, so stay tuned for that. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can join me down on the Discord, I'll have that link below. You can also join me on my bookstagram, I will have that link below as well if you want to check that out. So again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep on reading. Bye!